empowerment, self-defense. And um, for E as a Global, we try to eliminate um, violence in our world um, by teaching people empowerment, self-defense skills. Now, contrary to what a lot of people know, empowerment, self-defense is not just about fighting. It's also about um, being able to recognize that you as a person has rights, rights that should be respected, and that you should mutually also respect another's rights. So we teach people how to communicate orally, you know, we teach people how to run away, we teach people how to fight if they have to, and then we teach them not to keep silent if anything has happened to them. Students go through four days and 16 hours of full force adrenaline training with IMPACT. Impact Personal Safety teaches full force, full contact adrenaline self-defense, meaning that we put students into realistic scenarios so they can practice both the physical and the verbal techniques. And we do it in the adrenaline state so that the information becomes part of their procedural memory. And that means instead of them having to think about what to do, their body knows how to respond. As a survivor of female genital mutilation and a survivor of physical violence, ESD means a whole lot to me. They've trained us in such a way that your body would remember what exactly you're supposed to do. And there's no one formula to empowerment self-defense. It's just your ability to say that I am worth fighting for. It's your ability to take charge of your own life. It's your ability to ensure that you're safe protected. ESD is not only about the physical techniques, it also involves many other techniques that you can also use to de-escalate tension or any situations that might threaten peace, that might also cause violence or threat to a life of an individual. Students are discovering their power, they're hitting harder, they have more confidence in themselves, and they've even said, wow, I didn't even think I could do this after just one day. And at the end of the time, they carry themselves different. They tell us that they are more confident. They feel more capable about their ability to protect themselves. And that's exactly why we do this work. ESD Global started with teaching people um, in the US and in Israel where the headquarters are, um, how to defend themselves. But we had some Africans um, come for these trainings and they have made us understand that whatever is happening in faraway lands also happen in Africa. Now Rwanda is a place that had experienced some major violence in the past, but the good thing is that Rwanda has somehow evolved and learned how to heal and you know grow stronger. That's almost like what we do. We also chose to symbolically bring the training to this space so that people can also learn from the histories of you know. Rwanda. What's really exciting for us as Impact Global Instructors is we're teaching everyone the same things, but each person can take from it what works for them. And they can individually use whatever they think is most effective for their life. And that's really where the empowerment comes in. And I, I particularly like the bonding that I see. People come in as strangers and they leave as family because um, they get to learn to mutually respect one another. They get to learn how to see the good in one another. I see team spirit, you know, I see girl power, I see people bonding and networking and it's such a beautiful thing. It is what we want for our world. It has been an absolute joy to teach all of the students here. They have been so receptive and so open to what we've been teaching them and willing to learn and giving 100% and it, it's really a joy. I consider it an honor. I am glad that people see the difference we make in our world and they believe that there is something good there. They want to be associated with ESZ Globals. What I've loved so much about teaching here in Rwanda is that so many African countries are represented and there has been more dancing and more singing than I have done in any of my other classes that we've taught. And then teaching that to us and I think that has been one of the most exciting parts about this. I am incredibly thankful to ESD for inviting us to be part of their trainings to be able to offer this. And I am so thankful for all of the students. I just feel incredibly grateful for the entire experience. A violence-free society is possible if we only believe and work towards it. It is not perfect. 
we can be achieved. Let's work at it.